Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in the game A Plague Tale Innocence. I will start with some setting that you, you will need to do in your window to make sure that everything is fine. After that, we will go in the game, change some parameter and explain a bit uh, how it's working. And at the end, we will go in the uh, config file because the config file in this game <laughs> will give you a lot of FPS, a lot of options that you can change in a config file that are not in the graphic setting in game. So let's start this. First of all, search for game mode. Make sure that you're not using the game mode. It's uh, in any game, honestly, not just in this game. Just remove this option of your computer. It will cause you issue. After that, game bar also. Uh, make sure that you're not running any game bar. You don't want to record with Windows and stuff like that. So make sure this one is at off. After that, um, download the software. I will put it in my uh, video description called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, I think it's like four or five patch ago for Windows. Uh, they kind of messed up the uh, standby list in the Windows. So if you have less than 60, 16 gig of RAM, uh, you can have issue. Me, just for myself, I had issue with Battlefield 5 and uh, the Division 2. So now I always run this uh, cleaner. It's clean automatically my standby list. And also you can do it manually. Uh, the guy who did the program, uh, it's the guy who did DDU. So it's not like some bloat program randomly that you can find in the web it, it's legit so and it doesn't take a lot of resources on your computer so now let's go inside of the game for for graphic parameter let's start with the graphic here uh i'm using vsync because uh, now i'm i'm streaming with my nvec card uh nvec so the encoder on the card so i need to lock my fps because when i go too crazy i'm getting stuttering on obs so that's why i'm using the vsync and honestly it's not like a crazy fps esport game so you don't really mind about the small input lag screen resolution i'm playing 1080p uh after all the change i will show you if you still don't get your 60 for sure you will need to lower your uh, resolution but just test it with 1080p when you start uh, your graphic parameter resolution scale i'm playing at 100 percent don't go crazy this is last resort you can go lower if you want but um honestly less than 90 it's pretty it's shitty you will see like pixel blurriness and stuff like that so don't touch this one it's last resort again after all the changes i will show you if you're still gonna get your 60 just buy a computer display mode full screen so use the full screen in this game window mode and uh, borderless you will probably not probably you will lose two to three fps um so make sure that using full screen in this game really important advanced setting the first one that i'm using draw distance i'm playing at medium for each bracket, you will gain 4%, so it's pretty huge, but this is for sure, it's the draw distance. Uh, if you see further, you will render more stuff. It will take a, more resources. Uh, I don't like low in this game because uh, I, you really don't see very far in front of you. I think medium is a good balance. Shadow maps, volumetric light, ambient occlusion, depth of field, contact shadow. Put everything at low, It will just this will gain you a, a bit like a 40% to 16% of FPS, a huge increase. Uh, anyway, in the config file later, we will disable a couple of options in the in this. So, just put low for now. Light shaft, put medium. Uh, screen space reflection, one FPS of increase for each bracket. So not a huge deal, but still you can get like a two to three FPS total when you go at medium. Bloom, I'm putting this one at low because I don't like the effect. Again, we can remove it in the config file. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at medium, three percent of FPS for each bracket. So I'm playing at medium. Don't go with low. The only reason that maybe you should use low is if you have like a really, really old computer or a laptop or something like that. But um, medium is the way to go. You will see that uh, low, uh, too much like line are breaking in the game. The, the, the image quality is pretty shitty. So yeah, make sure that uh, you're playing this one at medium. The last one is texture quality. I'm uh, playing at high, it really depends on your VRAM on your video card, so if you have 3 gig and more, you can play at high, if you have less than 2 gig, uh, go with low, and if you have 2 gig, you can go with medium. So that's about it for the graphic parameter, now let's go in the config file. So to find your config file, you need to go to document, my game, a plague tale in a sense, and you will see a file called engine setting, right click on it, 
Uh, you should download a software like Notepad++, it's free, and uh, you will see that uh, it's pretty clear when you open those kind of setting file. In any game, honestly, I really, I don't like Notepad, the normal Notepad. This one, it's, pre it's a lot better. So, as you can see, you see all the graphic that you already changed in the game, but you see a lot more. So, first of all, make sure that HDR is not enabled if you don't have an HDR screen, for sure. Uh, as you can see, you can change the draw distance in the game, so the multiplier, the distance, etc. But, really important here, you can change stuff like Ray Trace Shadow, put this one at zero, so you want this enabled, this will gain you like 5% of increase of FPS, really important. Volumetric Cloud, go with one, just this will give you another 3 to 5% of an increase. Uh, volumetric Light, I'm good with it at one, because the quality is that low. But uh, you can remove a lot of stuff like ambient inclusion, I can remove it, bloom, depth of fill, uh, motion blur at zero. So you can change a lot of stuff that will really help your, um, uh, your uh, FPS. And also you have a section called post-processing that you can change a lot of stuff. So if you don't, have, you don't like the film grain, you can put this one at zero. Lens flare will give you a couple of FPS, you can put this one at zero. If you don't like the lens distortion, all those kind of stuff, you can change it directly in the config. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section. Uh, post me your CPU, GPU, and rig uh, the, of your rig, sorry, and also your RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, everyone.